Hello beautiful souls and welcome back. Today's tarot and oracle reading is an energy prediction for the month of September for the zodiac sign of Capricorn. This could be your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising, wherever Capricorn happens to fit into your astrological chart. In today's tarot and oracle reading, we will be using the Wildwood Tarot as well as the Illustrated Herbiary. So while I'm shuffling, I do want to let you know that this month I am doing a giveaway to win a personalized reading from me. To enter this giveaway, it's super simple. All you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, like this video, and leave me a comment down below. The winner will be selected at random from the comments. Now we do all have multiple zodiac signs in our chart, so feel free to go over to the other zodiac signs or all the zodiac signs and like those videos and leave me a comment. You can enter to win up to 12 times on all the different zodiac readings. So Capricorn, what is the energy surrounding you this month? Thank you. I forgot to turn my lights on. <laughs> okay, we have the apple of the forbidden fruit. Hmm. Something is tempting you this month. But what is it? Is it tempting you or is it something you feel you don't deserve? I'm also getting that vibe. I do want to point out, I love the inside of an apple, how the seeds, if you cut it, instead of cutting an apple like this, if you cut it like this, you get this cross section and you get the five pointed star, earth, air, fire, water, spirit. Love it. Which is weird that, you know, it's the, the forbidden fruit and yet it is so interconnected to everything. Okay. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Whoa, Capricorn. Lots of cards today. Okay. We're starting with the Knight of, Knight of Stones, the horse in reverse. It's like you're, you're wanting to move forward with something. You have this idea in your head, something that you want to do, and it's just you're feeling like you can't. You can't do it. You're stuck. We have the ancestor. So this could be related to um, what's the word I'm looking for? Could be re related to race or culture or some kind of words are escaping me. Injustice within your life because of who you are and who you were born to could be what is making this feel forbidden for you. We have the shaman. And with that, it's like, you know what? It doesn't matter what your roots are. Go back to your roots, trust your roots, trust the knowledge you seek is cemented into you. Like it's knowledge that is ingrained in you, whether this is you know, knowledge of how to succeed, how to fight, how to move forward. I feel like that knowledge is in you because your ancestors and the wise people of your culture have have given it to you through through their spirit. We have the two of arrows and justice. And we have the card of balance. I do want to get one more card, but I am feeling like for a lot of you Capricorns who are watching this, it's almost like you feel stuck in your circumstances because of your past, because of your history, because of your culture, your race, your family. You're trying to 
break free the two of vessels contraction. You're trying to break free and find what it is that you're truly desiring in this life. But it seems so forbidden to you. It's very sad energy, honestly. Like it's like very like heartbroken. It's like you've almost lost your determination or your motivation. very almost depressed kind of vibes is what I'm feeling from this. So I do, I do want to take this moment to say, if you are feeling depressed, if you are having negative thoughts that you feel you can't control, please seek help. Whether it is someone you trust that you can talk to, whether it's a medical professional, a therapist, a counselor, um, please seek the help that you need and that you deserve. Each and every single one of us deserve treatment and deserve the best for our mental health. So if you are having a hard time with your mental health this month, please take actions that will help you improve your situation. The back of the deck energy is hearth fire, which may suggest that maybe it's not even something that you want to seek medical advice for, but it's something you need to find a community. It's it's almost like whatever you're whatever you're feeling, this hesitation around this sadness around, whatever you're feeling is forbidden. I almost feel like there's there is a community that is desiring the same thing that you are. There's a community around what you want and what you desire, and perhaps you haven't found them yet, but that community is there. Whether this is a community that's online or whether it's something that you can find locally to you, I'm not sure, it would depend on your location. But I want to tell you to not give up. Like, don't stop trying. With the Two of Vessels, the Attraction card, and the card of Balance. Even, I mean, we have the Two of Arrows here with the scales at the top of the card. There is a balance that is waiting to be found. But we just haven't found it yet. But we can find it. We will find this balance. You will find this balance. Between the ancestor and the shaman here, I feel like this is, you know, deep ancestral wisdom, ancestral knowledge. You may not know your ancestors, you may not know who they are, but they have given you, through, through their DNA, the knowledge that you seek. It is within you, you just have to figure out how to uncover it. If you are aware of who your ancestors are, it may be worth looking into some of their cultures and their traditions. You might find clarity in what the interests of your ancestors might have been. I want to share a little, I can share a little story with you. Um, I actually had no clue what my paternal heritage was for a long time and it was actually because of COVID that I actually had the time and the resources to really dive deep down an ancestry rabbit hole. I was lucky that our library provided um, access to the ancestry, like ancestry.com uh, databases. And I was able to actually find my ancestral tribe and actually have learned a lot about uh, the the shaman of my people 
it's actually called a mulfer in uh, in where I'm from, where my family is from. I'm not from there. I've never been there one day, but where I am ancestrally from. And it's amazing how there is so much overlap between my current interests, which I felt so alone in, and what was ancestrally natural to the people of the area. Things like working with herbs and the seasons and, you know, a very pagan-based attitude towards life was was common. That's That was the way of life. So it wasn't until I was 35 that I discovered this knowledge. And honestly, I mean, my dad didn't know. So my dad's in his 60s. Some of my aunts and uncles didn't know they're into their 70s now. So, you know, there's, there's, it's never too late to find the information you seek. And it's amazing the amount of clarity I was able to receive just knowing that I wasn't alone, even if, you know, I don't have the resources to learn from those ancestors. Just, you know, feeling like they were like cosmically connected to me. So, um, you know, do, do your research, try and find some more information on your ancestors and see if there's, you know, similarities between what you're desiring and what your ancestors did, maybe what they fought for. This might also be a good time to work with your ancestors, perhaps through meditation, perhaps through journaling, allowing that energy to come through you and onto, say, the page of a journal. It's amazing. Sometimes knowledge comes through that you didn't even know you possessed. But when you can kind of channel that energy, it's amazing what you can discover about yourself. So... Capricorn, I feel this month is going to be one of discovery for you. But it's also not going to be the easiest time. You know, it's not going to be a walk in the park, so to speak. It's going to come with its trials and its tribulations. And you're going to feel like you're just, you're run down, you're, you're out of balance. Perhaps even exhaustion and depression are feelings you might associate with the coming month, but you can push through. You don't have to exhaust yourself by pushing through, but you can. You can you can keep going. That's what I'm trying to say. And I want to encourage you to keep going. Keep pushing. Keep trying to uncover the little details for the answers that you seek. They are out there. We just need to turn the page and find the right one. So I hope you enjoyed this reading for the month of September Capricorn. If you did, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video and good luck with the giveaway. I hope that you win. <laughs> I would love to explore this topic deeper if you won. Love, light and happiness to all of you. Have a fantastic day. Bye Capricorn.